Hello, welcome back to Iris Thinks. In this video, we're going to do something that I trailed in the previous video. I mentioned about the goodies that I got for Christmas. So we're going to fit the uh, mirror caps onto the car and also the dynamic indicators to the car. So I mentioned this in the previous video. Uh, these are some goodies that I got for Christmas. Starting with the mirror caps. These were 120 quid from eBay. I'll put links in the description uh, for this. Um, you can actually get them cheaper as well. Um, I've just done a search now just before I've done the video and you can actually get them for about 80 quid, which is not bad. Um, and they are the genuine VW ones as well. You can get cheaper Chinese ones too. And you can get some carbon fiber finish ones as well. Carbon fiber ones are more like caps. So they would stick over the top of these. Obviously you've already got caps on your, um, on your VW too. So they just stick over the top. These ones are actually replacements, so we've got to take the old ones off to put these ones back on again. We've also got the dynamic indicators in this box here. I'll show you these. So these, again, are a direct uh, replacement to the ones already there, and they give you the nice kind of sort of blinking finish, like left to right, right to left, depending which side of the car they're on. These were £50, and these are from a VW tuning website because they also fit the Mark 7 Golf. Now, the genuine VW ones range between 130 quid and 207 quid. Again, I'll put links in the description to those where I found those. Um, again, you can get them off eBay, and you can get these, obviously, the cheaper ones too. So the first thing we need to do is lower the mirror so we can get access behind it so we can actually prise it off. Now, if you've seen my other videos when I've done things to the car, um, I recommend getting a set of these. You can get them off Amazon. Again, I'll put a link in the description to these. So what we just do now is put this behind the mirror and very carefully just prise this off. But once we have it off, it's now free to move around. There are some wires just to the left in here for the heating element. Those just need to be disconnected. Remember which order they go in. It's blue to the right and brown to the left. And once these are disconnected, they just pull off. You can then remove the whole mirror and you can see inside. With the mirror removed, I'm actually gonna move it back up so it's flat again. So it'll make it easier when we come to push the mirror on when we're replacing it. So now in order to remove the mirror cover, we need to unclip this tab here and unclip this tab here, and then we can remove the cover from the back. So now we have the mirror internals exposed. To replace the indicator, we need to move this screw here and this screw here, and they're a Torx 10 fitting. But before that, I'm just gonna unhook this little one here, which is the power, obviously the signal, and then get the screws out. So now I'm just going to lever it from this side here, just a, there's a little kind of bobble in, in here where you can see the indicator. So I'm just going to unhook that first. So that's now loose. And there we go. Just move that backwards. So this is the old one removed. And we now have the new one. Just going to peel off the protective cover. Now you can see here, it does have an E mark so it is okay to use in the UK. E-marks are just like a, a markers make to say they comply with various legislation and things like that. So we're okay to use this one. And then again, just going to offer it up into the housing here. It's 
starting with the left hand side and we can see where it's going to match up with where the screws were before. So that little prize down. And there we go, we're all in. Just going to connect up the power. Tight fit. There we go. And then just remains to put the screws back on on left and right. So we'll just give it a little test, make sure it works okay. And there we go. We have the chasing indicator. Now just to get the, the new mirror cap on now. So the new mirror caps come in a nice protective cover. It's actually soft inside, so they're not going to scratch or anything in the box. So we just pull this up here, and there we go. It's a nice black finish, brand new. Again, I'll put the part numbers in the description. So we just need to clip this on now and then we're finished. So just gonna be very careful just to put this back on because there's so many clips and things inside here. We just don't want to break. Yep, feel things clipping in there. So I think we're on. Once I've done, just to get the mirror on there. So being very careful with the mirror glass now, we'll just hook up the connectors first. So brown to the far side and blue to the near side. So those are connected. Now, We've got various clips around here that need to clip onto the actual um, part that moves inside here. So I'm just going to very carefully offer that up and then just put even pressure across the whole glass and just push it backwards till it clicks. So there we go. So that's now in place. That's one down. And the other, I'm not going to film because the procedure is exactly the same. So there we go. So that's it finished. It actually looks crime in this light here. It's so shiny, but it's definitely black. And I really love the, the dynamic indicator. I think it looks really, really cool. So it's just something you can do to customise your ID3. As I said, all links and part numbers, etc. will be in the description. So there we go. So it's quite simple I think it's a little bit fiddly just to get the cap off in the initial initial stages but once it's off it is quite easy you saw how easy the, the new indicator went in there just a couple of seconds to put that in so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and if you haven't already please take a look at my previous video which is the AMA video I'll put a link in the in the top corner whichever way it is um, and you can have a look at that one and if you've got any questions about my ID3 on my ownership over the last 12 months, then please feel free to post there. I will be doing the AMA video soon. I think I'll maybe give it another week just to get a few more questions. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later.